What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Michael. And if I'm quiet, it's because it's like 1 in the morning. I got home from work. And uh, everyone was asleep in my house. And I'm like, well, I gotta make a video. Because uh, I felt like I want. I felt like I, I've been wanting to make one. But I've been busy with work at school. I think I'm getting sick because uh, my nose is really runny and my throat's getting clammy. I changed the layout of my room. Yeah, my bed's in this corner now. It wasn't that one. Over there. Anyway. I got a story time for you guys today. This story time. Wrestling camp. Back in... ninth grade. eighth, ninth grade. So, we're doing wrestling camp. And we had like this one... It was like a camp, so it was like a couple hundred people there. Really big, really packed. There was this one kid. He had like this brown spot on his on his like right here. It's like brown. I don't know. It wasn't. He was like a white kid, but he had like a big brown spot, like birthmark. Like that's cool and all, but he's in, easily distinguishable from everybody else, which is fine. You know, not bashing him for that. Just easily, easily distinguishable. So. So me and this kid line up to wrestle. We're both in the ring. And I have my hands up, you know, I have my I'm in my, my wrestling stand I'm like this. You know? My hands are like this, so I can grapple them. You know, I'm like that, you know. Whatever. I have them. My hands were like that. But then he does some weird stuff. Like I don't know, like so this kid goes like this to my hands. Like, I was just like, yeah. bruh. So not only was this kid really annoying, every time I tried doing this, he would hit my hands. And not like, you know, little, no, I'm talking like, like hard. And me being from the streets, I wasn't taught to take such disrespect. He keeps doing this, I'm like, yo, stop. You can do it. Don't do it this hard. I'm telling you, stop. And he's like, so I told the dude to stop, and he kept doing it. Like, like yeah, smacking him like that hard. But then we did this. We did this one move where you hit him on the forehead, like just to like tip their forehead up, so they're off guard, and then you can shoot on them. I was I was going to do one of those. Turn out just straight to the nose, like one one good clean. Partly. So then he goes like this. And he, he's sitting there like that. After he recovers from that, he goes like that, bleeding. And he's like, he starts crying. I'm like, yo, how are you going to be crying in wrestling camp? So I hit him, and he's crying. And I'm just like, welcome to the gun show. So then he runs to his dad, and he tells his dad, dad, my nose is bleeding. His dad's like, shut up. Quit being a little You know? When I went up against this kid, I was like, I was, I was pretty happy. This kid was trying to go up against me for a while. And so I, I walk out there, you know, I'm doing like the Dave Batista. You know, I'm pulling out RKO's. I'm like, watch out, watch out, watch out. You know, truth be told, I saw this kid like two years later at school. And I saw him and I was like, Honestly, that kid didn't say anything to me ever again. After that wrestling match, didn't challenge me to another wrestling match. Didn't say he could beat me. Didn't do none of that. Didn't tell me anything at school. He ended up leaving school. That year, that was like his first year as high school. Or maybe he moved. I don't know. But that was story time for today. Well, I'm going to sleep.